Annyeong everyone, this is the Volkswagen Arteon 2.0 TDI Prestige and this is the key. The key fob is very slim, very light. There you go, when you open it. It is a smart key so it is gonna be quite easy bring it along with you in your pocket. The front fascia looks clean, neat and wide. It even reminds me of an R8. So all the lines you see from the headlights just goes very neatly along with the front grille. The front logo has radars, sensors and also a camera for your 360 view camera. And of course there are lots of air vents, airways and front sensors, even side vents that are not just for design. A bit of chrome and a bit of lights hidden everywhere. So later on, I'll be demoing how it looks like with the lights on. I think, yeah, it is very well hidden that I cannot even tell which one is the light and which one is the grill. It's this is your Arteon with the lights on, the turn signal, and also all these park lights and DRLs. And I really love the design here. Wow, absolutely beautiful. It also reminds me of the Corolla Hybrid. This is the rear side with the lights on, sequential or dynamic LED turn signals. And wow, the design of the park light and the brake lights are in huge chunks, huge solids. Just look at that. You know, when I'm here at the back, it reminds me of plenty of cars, but the cars that are in my mind are very expensive ones. There's a ducktail kind of design. Absolutely stunning. Four eye sensors. There are huge chrome mufflers, but those are designed. The twin pipe type of exhaust but it is very well hidden. But outside for aesthetics, it does look like it has two on each side. So one of the convenience features is the smart trunk opening with the key in your pocket. Just go near the Volkswagen logo and do a little kick. Then it opens up like that. Uh, just like in other brands, you can adjust the opening height just like do it manually and hold on to the button then you can see that there that means it has been set to this uh, height but it also can be closed with the kick function but this is the fun part i need to get away from the vehicle so it will close this is the side look of the 2022 Volkswagen Arteon. And guys, this is beautiful car. I mean, it looks so good in front, but also look at this. The hood goes all the way here on the side. So I'm going, I cannot wait to see it opening later on, but it is a fantastic looking design. It is very long. The stance is very low. It looks very sharp. It looks very modern. The wheel design, when you look straight from here, it doesn't do justice. When you look from the side, then it does some justice. But take a look at this turbine design. This is phenomenal. P0 tires, 245 40R19s. That is crazy detail bit of chrome accents that says elegance it must be the trim the side mirror has this brushed aluminum type and plastic with uh, led side repeater 360 cam puddle lamp it has features that you can find in most premium premium cars so this is not your everyday car but look how it looks so good it even looks like an rs7 or rs6 of audi so yeah and the doors have frameless design. So more and more, I am 
loving this beautiful Artean. This Artean model has a sunroof. It's not the panoramic type, but it does have a good size to it with a shark fin antenna. Look at that. It is a fastback type, coupe type, huge luggage space. Even the second row will fold down. So you have more space and you can even slip inside if you want to. Now I am liking Volkswagen for always including a safety tire. More of its niceties. Wow. These are ambient lights. Oh, I've seen this in other models. Very neatly designed. It is hidden well. Sometimes maybe you cannot find where the door handle is. The speaker. Nice stitching. Now, this is like the part that maybe uh, should be wrapped in leather, not just in hard plastic. But this is a German car. Fuzzy, door beams, the speaker, the trunk. It has the massage function, two memory seats with lumbar support and fully powered seat. It does have ventilated and heated seats. The pedals are also in sports pedals. The steering wheel, though, is still in manual compartment. Now, just like uh, every premium car, the, the finishing is in a fuzzy type, just like in your Ferrari. This is the dashboard area of the Arteon. Now, this is something new. In the Golf earlier, it had touch type of lighting system while the steering wheel system were physical but now they are interchanged but uh, i think that will not be a problem and it is inevitable that we have to get used to the new technology right now hard plastic with stitching speaker a pop-up type of head-up display fully digital instrument cluster does have engine temperature that is very important air vents with ambient lighting system wow so the glove box can have some cooling feature as well now this is the most luxurious volkswagen i've seen in my life even the seat the material feels so good soft and this is also in power heads-up display fully digital most of android auto and apple carplay ventilated and heated seats all these are touch type so if you don't like touch type you just need to get used to it wireless charge pad the transmission gear lever with sport mode drive modes engine on and off a few black buttons Park assist, yeah. auto dimming room mirror. There. This time we have physical buttons for the map lights. Sunglass case. Okay, this is the test now. <laughs> uh, this is the downside for me. It's a huge vehicle, but the sun visor is very small and narrow. That doesn't slide. But plus points for the nice LED light manual shade for the sunroof mm -hmm. the center console has two type c fuzzy type of finishing small amount of space nice leather with stitching as well for demo sake we just turn on oh we have different driving modes, Echo, Comfort, Normal, Sports, and Individual. There you go, IQ Drive. Mm. There, it's very intuitive, but not uh, user-friendly because you need to study it before you try to use it. Oh, it has Front Assist, Lane Keep Assist, Side Blind Spot Warning Assist, Attention Assist, Proactive passenger protection assist oh so it has like active 
seat belt system so if the vehicle will detect that there will be an impact it's gonna pull the seat belt and probably wake up the passenger and brace for impact oh and look at this wow they just lit up does it have haptic feedback yep we're entering the second row it is also frameless wow look at that ambient lighting stitches and yes this area should be padded in leather fuzzy type step seal just look at the seat how do you like the design but wow look how huge the armrest is and you can also access oh you may also access the trunk so that you can have longer items for storage turn that on enter pouches rear air vents heated rear seats usb type c and 12 volt the center tunnel is on the very high side grab handle oh this is a very intuitive design of the headrest three headrests the trunk cover really long cable for the dash cam cabin light now what do i feel when i am here in the cabin huge cabin space this is a full-size sedan airbags now everything looks very clean modern please do let me know if you want this car to be available here in the philippines <laughs> well i'm still in korea but this is the interior guys the arteon comes with hydraulic struts engine cover insulation and heat rejection so you can see that's the firewall and just take a look from this side wow it even feels like a portofino because it opens up from this line right here that is very intuitive something new that i have seen in our modern cars there you go Please do look for Volkswagen here in Gangnam. I will put their details in the description section below. May our dreams come true in 2022.